Hi folks, I've got my first 20 Moringa trees in the ground. Hmm, how's that? Yeah, freaking ground's like soft concrete here. It's just about kill me, freaking hoeing. Uh, but they're in, they're in the grounds. Oh, I don't know if you can see them. There's a lot of light from the sun on the back of the camera. Yeah, they're just in one row there. I uh, I thought to myself, it can't be that bad further over because like there's a lot of stone in the soil along here from when they made the track and I think there's a bit extra stone got in the soil. Plus it's a little bit uh, iron stony up here anyway. And it's also... Hmm, some spots of clay, it's very mixed soil. I had uh, three or four spots here which are clay, but what I've done was added some potting mix. Uh, it's mm, local variety of potting mix, Thai, Thai brand. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell you the name of it, but that's it. So I've added that to the soil. The ones that were, which had clay in them, I've added about twice as much. So hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, that's the first row. So as we go, we'll we'll go down the hill about 40 meters. There's a bit of a bit of weedery there that I'll have to slash, but that's no big deal. Uh, these other weeds around here, I just pick out as I'm going around. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to walk around and pick them all out, and, and then only have this one row. Because <laughs> what'll happen is I'll pick them all out, and then there'll be another lot here in a month. Yeah, well, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it's morning tea time, and I live. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a there's a water tower over there about 250 meters from where I live. And that's where I'm going right now. So you all have a good day and uh, I'll catch up with you again. Bye now.